All right, so we kick it off with Rob Eisner and Casey Milliken, and this should be an interesting fight also. Both these guys, stand-up type guys, uh, and the, the matchmaker told me both these guys are very strong and tough. Well, one thing is for sure, we know that Rob Eisner is uh, going to be a tough, uh, educated fighter trained by the legendary Ken Hahn the. over at Striking Unlimited. And Casey Milligan, what do you know about him over at Warrior, which is also a nice uh, training facility? Well, look at him, Casey to be a really strong and well-rounded fighter. Uh, Rob's going to definitely have a lot of kicking coming from a Taekwondo background. There we go. You know, it's interesting. The, the matchmaker said this really could be the fight of the night. You have to pick that fight of the night. He says this one could be right off the bat. You know what? I, I'm excited to, even more to see it then. If they say it might be the fight of the night, the very first fight of the night, that's a good way to get the night started to get those fans lubed up and ready for some good action. It's going to be tough for everybody else. They have to meet that level of intensity, <laughs> right? Yeah. A tough act to follow, you know? Definitely a tough act to follow. Similar to the UFC fights they had a couple of nights ago, the first fight was great the second fight was just as good it could however set the pace and maybe everybody's going to feed off that energy you know we'll Here see you go. all the way through so rob the american superstar he calls himself eisner out of fontana california trains right here in las vegas and casey from maine and he maine. has moved to las vegas to uh, fight so here we go we're ready to go let's go up into the ring here is jake gutierrez Center of the ring, tonight's ring announcer, Jake Gutierrez. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, as we welcome you to the Orleans Hotel and Casino, right here in the fight capital of the world, Las Vegas, Nevada, where tonight, Barry Myers Tough Enough Productions, in association with the Orleans Hotel and Casino, is proud to present Amateur Fighting Championships, the future stars of MMA. Tonight's bouts are supervised by the Nevada State Athletic Commission and sanctioned by the ISKA. President is Corey Schaefer. The ISK representative is Ralph Cook. Our timekeeper this evening is Bridget Mazzagatti. The lead physician is Rhonda Vacheron. Our scorekeeper will be Carlos Cantone. Our judges working on an alternating basis will be Joe Sullivan, John Quinn, Troy Mazzagatti, and Carlos Cantone. Our referee is also working on an alternating basis. Chris Tayoni, Jason Trevino, Joe Sullivan, and Dave Selyestead. And now, ladies and gentlemen, is everybody ready for some M-M-A? Let's get the action started with our first bout of the evening. Our referee in charge will be Chris Tayoni. This bout is scheduled for three two-minute rounds in the 155-pound division. Introducing first, he'll be fighting out of the blue corner. He entered the ring wearing the black trimmed in camouflage, and he represents striking unlimited. Ladies and gentlemen, here is Rob Eisenhorn. And his opponent fighting out of the red corner. He wears black trimmed in gold, and he represents a warrior. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing Casey Milliken. <laughs> All right, so Casey Milligan, or Milliken, or rather, a little hand from the crowd here, excited to be here. You can see the, uh, the expressions on their faces. How about Casey Milligan? I, from what I hear, I hear that he shoots straight from the hip. He's a straight shooter uh, in the ring. No pun and, intended with his tattoos. Rob has 245s <laughs> on the hip. <laughs> I'm sorry, that's Rob with the 245s. Yes, he, sh he shoots straight from the hip. Okay. All right, so we're ready for the first fight here, and I'm – eager, dripping with anticipation. All right, the fighters come out and touch the gloves, which is nice. Trade jabs. Going through that clinch. Looks like Casey wants to definitely take it to the ground. Yeah, Casey's got that little body lock and nice little trip to get the takedown on, on our guy Rob here. Does a good job to maneuver him away from the ropes. Once again, you can see the, uh, the white ropes in between the main ropes. Those were put in a couple of fights ago because so many guys were falling through the rope. Yes, I'm, and I'm glad that they did that. I'm sure the two fighters inside the ring right now are, yeah, are happy sure. about that as well. But how about this? Look at Casey going for the back, but he has nowhere to go unless he goes through the ropes. He's got that rear naked choke sunk in, but it looks like it's on the chin right now, Ken. Well, I can still get out of it. 
So for Eisenhower to get out of there, what does he need to do in order to escape a rear naked choke like this? I think he should push that elbow over his head. A uh, uh, little BJ pin S there. Casey uses the leg to, to get the arm secured. Rob still not tapping out. No sooner than I say it, he, he go ahead and taps out. But beautiful move by Casey by using that right leg. BJ Pin S. Very calm and collective. Set up his position well. It's something to choke. All right, so Casey Milliken improves now to two and one. You can see the excitement in his corner as the guy from Maine picks up a win, his second career win. Congratulations. Look, yeah, absolutely. Take a look at the replay. I mean, Casey sunk that rear naked choke in and just improved and improved his position. Right here, it looks like he's almost going to get a chance to turn out of that, Ken. I thought he would push that elbow up. He's actually fighting on the wrong hand. He should be attacking the hand that's actually choking him. So you're saying the hand that's on the bicep or the hand or the other hand? The hand that's actually choking his neck is what he should be pushing up on. I got you. If you're fighting the opposite hand, then you're not fighting the hand that's choking you. So the choke keeps getting harder and harder. And then when Casey uses his leg like BJ Penn to secure that arm, it was a wrap after that. I mean, just one arm fighting two, you're not going to win that. How about that in the first round? I mean, that fight got over quick. Very textbook stage of the game plan. Very quick, and let's go up into the ring for the uh, announcement of the winner. Here's Jay. Ladies and gentlemen, a rear naked choke ends this contest at 1 minute 32 seconds of the first round. The winner, Casey Milliken. All right, Casey Milliken picks up the win, and you know, they said this could be the fight of the night. It wasn't the fight of the night. It's not going to be the fight of the night, but a terrific fight for Casey as he walks away with a, uh, with a win tonight. Fighters always want to finish fights, and they want to finish it as soon as possible. So for Casey, I mean, that was a uh, perfect outcome for his night. Very smooth, uh, stayed calm and relaxed, and worked his position. Choke. All right, plenty ahead here at the uh, Mardi Gras Ballroom inside the Orlando.